What's up everyone, it's Prometheus, and today I'm coming at you with how I make the modern Cortado. Now, I'm calling it the modern Cortado because there's definitely some debate online, in person, between enthusiasts and professionals alike, what makes a Cortado a Cortado. So it does come from Spanish descent, and Cortado does mean to cut. So basically what we're doing is cutting espresso with steamed milk. It's often served at a one-to-one -one ratio, so basically two ounces of steamed milk, two ounces of espresso. There's some wiggle room here, give or take, but oftentimes the drink is about four to four and a half ounces. You can also find them called Gibraltars. That's also the name of the glass that it was placed in previously. Today I'm using the not neutral Vero glasses. So when you're steaming milk for a Cortado or a Gibraltar, uh, you're gonna wanna keep it a little cooler than usual. So I usually steamed about 130. I would use a thermometer if you're not familiar, if your hand isn't calibrated to that temperature. Uh, obviously I've been making a lot of them, so this is kind of something I'm used to doing. All the standard rules apply when it comes to making the espresso, steaming the milk. You wanna make sure you're following all the proper procedures, purging, uh, wiping the wand clean, and now let's pour some art. Obviously you're gonna have less room, so you wanna do a smaller base, and you're gonna to wanna to get your art done relatively quickly, pouring at a little bit slower rate. And there you have it, that is the modern Cortado. So I'm gonna set it down so we can take a look at the depth of the foam as well, which is an important factor. Here you can see it's about a pinky width. I call it the pinky width perfection. This is what I'm always shooting for myself and way I train baristas to make cortados as well. Also, it should be at a lower temperature, so it should be relatively drinkable in a short period of time. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Drop a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Remember to follow me at Prometheus on Instagram, the blog at Prometheus.com, and as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy.